And Europe is facing a resurging wave of COVID-19 infections. Countries, one after, after the other, are going into lockdown, prompting protests and in many cases, incidents of violence as well. Starting with the Netherlands, which has been witnessing three straight nights of protests now against COVID-19 restrictions. On Sunday, riots broke out across the country with angry mobs clashing with the police. Five police officers have been hurt, 64 people detained in the province, in three provinces. The latest unrest was sparked with the government after the government opposed a three-week partial lockdown last weekend after a recording, after a record spike in COVID cases. Bars and restaurants must close at 8 p.m. Crowds are banned from sporting events. Sunday's unrest came after two days of violence in the Netherlands, which experienced its worst riots in 40 years. Protests have also broken out in Belgium. Around 35,000 people took to the streets in Brussels to protest against restrictions imposed by the government to curb a rise in cases. Protesters and the police clashed with protesters throwing smoke bombs and fireworks. Police were forced to use tear gas, water cannons in some cases to disperse the demonstrators. Belgium tightened its COVID restrictions last week, mandating wider use of masks and enforcing work from home. Test, I guess, if they want to dance a mask free, the COVID pass will become compulsory to eat in a restaurant or to go to the theater. As of Sunday, Belgium recorded over 26,000 total deaths due to the virus. Belgium has one of the highest cases per capita rates in the European Union and at around 1 per 100 people testing positive over the past 14 days. Because um, we want our freedom and being injected by something that's not tested well, um, being um, not able to work where you want to work, to be where you want to be, that's not what we stand for. That's not freedom, that's not where we live. We live in West Europe and we just want to be free like we were before. The World Health Organization said last week that currently Europe was the new hotspot for the pandemic, being the only region in which COVID-19 deaths were rising. The autumn surge in infections are overwhelming hospitals in many Central and Eastern European nations, including Ukraine, Russia, Romania and the Czech Republic and Slovakia. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.